Hi, I'm Joe. On this episode of Hitchhike with Joe Mike, I'm in Austin, Texas. I'm traveling with friends on this trip and not solo because it is a bachelor party. Continuing with my new episode format, the first section provides tips on activities while in Austin, followed by a section on food and drink recommendations. In this case, all flavored with some bachelor fun. There's also a bonus section at the end since this is a bachelor party edition. I will conduct the most comprehensive study in the history of humanity to answer a single question that men have been asking for millennia. What do women really want? Here I am at the airport, getting ready to head to Austin. And the one thing to know, the last time this group of folks went to Austin with The Bachelor, Dan, well, he didn't come back in one piece. Apparently my shoulder's pretty jacked up, but my knee is really hurting me. My knee is uh, still pretty messed up from, the scooter, from scooter gate. He had a torn meniscus, a torn ACL, and it wasn't a pretty sight. So we're hoping that this time around, at his bachelor party, we do actually bring him back in one piece. At least for the bride. We'll try it. We'll see what happens. Hi, Robert. Hey, hey. Welcome to Austin. This is the man that we have to get home in one piece by the end of this weekend. Harder than it sounds. Yes, it is. We are at the Airbnb in Austin, the capital of Texas. And when people hear Austin, typically they think about music. In addition, I have the uh, Austin website here. Austin is also known for Wonderful ballet, world-class museums, one-of-a-kind shopping, and beautiful outdoor spaces. Now I can tell you on this trip, since it's flavored towards a bachelor party, we are not going to the ballet. So I've created a North Star for us on this trip, and it includes three Bs. Oh, my battery's about to die. So the three Bs are barbecue, booze, and So the one thing you need to do in Austin is ride a scooter. Lime, Bird, Uber, and Lyft all have scooters among other companies. Let's do it. Just download the appropriate app, put a credit card on file, and you are good to go. Make sure your phone battery has enough juice to last the duration of the ride because you'll have to take a picture of the scooter at the end. Costa, what do you think about the scooters? <laughs> 10 out of 10, these are freaking great. <laughs> do you know where we're going though? So if you're big on water activities and you're in Austin, one thing you can do is kayak or canoe. Come on down, get on the river and check out nature. There are many options for renting a kayak. We went with Austin Rowing Club. Bring a waterproof camera with you and some water. Once you are on the Colorado River, there are many things to do. You can enjoy the skyline. You can throw your camera like a football to a fellow kayaker or a regular ball for you non-Americans watching this. Or you can observe turtles. You can also check your email. If none of these interest you, however, kayak east on the river, and then eventually you'll see a rope tied to a tree on the right-hand side. And then do this. Yeah. Map, we don't need no stinking map. If you like pretending to be a dinosaur, like Dan here, or hiking, biking, swimming, or rock climbing, check out the Barton Creek Greenbelt. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. That is big. So we are currently on a magical trail to the most magical place in Austin, Sculpture Falls. Magical? Yeah.
We are at Sculpture Falls and we were here four years ago as well. And it's a quite a different site because if you look here, it looks like there's a, a small lake over there that's it's very shallow. But four years ago, there'd be water coming, going down through these channels here into the water over there. And it would be, it was very deep. It was so deep that you can actually go on the ridge over there and jump in. And it was about, I don't know, maybe a 10 foot drop. So quite a different scene this time around. But when you're in Austin and you fancy some hiking and some water activities and some sun, Sculpture Falls is a, a good visit and there'll hopefully be a little bit more water when you come. And it's free. And it's free. After two guys get ankle deep in the shallow water, we decide to hike some more to find other types of entertainment. We find a tranquil area where Ninos plays Indiana Jones. Dan throws a rock into the creek. And then we decide that we are starving, and the conversation turns to survival. But we gotta eat Joe first. Why? Why me? Because it's eat, it's eat or be eaten. Let's say we have Joe with us, right? Yes. Uh -huh. we, we spent all day collecting some food. We're gonna wake up, the food's gonna be gone, and Joe's gonna be, have eaten all of it. Or we're gonna just eat him first. Little did I know, Dan was scheming. This is Sparta! If you are a motorsports enthusiast, whether it's Formula One or NASCAR, or just a general auto enthusiast, you must check out Circuit of the Americas. If the track is not hosting the biggest names in racing, you can actually take your car out onto the track. Check out their website to see the schedule of events. The link is in the description below. If you happen to leave your sports car at home because it's simply too big to check on the plane, don't worry, you can still race at Circuit of the Americas with a cart. It's open to all skill levels and is amazing fun if you can get a group of family or friends in on it. Mr. Joe Michael has taken the lead. To add to all that, the track also hosts cars and coffee on select Sundays where folks bring their cars out to be displayed and drooled over. It's free for spectators. Hey, Coach, do you have any hair gel I can borrow? I don't. I'm sorry. Is that, is that being mean? Because he has a... <laughs> when evening approaches, it's time to prepare for 6th Street and focus on the three Bs, starting with booze. My trick of me getting closer to the camera. We are on 36. There's a bunch of bars here. We got a bar hop. This is one of the three B's. So we got barbecue, we got booze, we got, we got booze. Go, 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 go. 36, the area on 6th Street between Congress Avenue and I 35, is the original entertainment section of Austin. While traffic is allowed on the street during the week, it is closed to traffic on weekends when vehicles are replaced with a rowdy crowd and it becomes Austin's primary destination for entertainment. I recommend walking down the street until you find the atmosphere that you are looking for. Whether it's a dive bar, restaurant, comedy club, or live music pub. <laughs> All right, guys, now that we have peace and quiet and the other guys aren't here, I can tell you what the three Bs are. It's barbecue, it's booze, and... Sir, do you mind if I have a word over here, please? Sure. Wait, wait. Joe, what's going on? Joe! Joe! If you keep walking west on 6th past Congress Avenue, you get to another section of the street that is called, well, West 6th, and it is defined by more trendy and upscale bars and restaurants and a college vibe. They, they playing Fergie. You know a place is popping when they're playing Fergie. Let's go. Buford's. Buford Live. We head to Buford's. That driverless car behind me is stuck there forever. You missed uh, two physical altercations. 
Yep, that's the college atmosphere I know. There is a third section of 6th that's newer called East 6th and it's east of I-35. It's a calmer part of the street with many bars, restaurants, and food trucks, some of which I will highlight in the food section of this episode. If you are looking for a historic building to grab a drink, or a luxurious hotel in the heart of downtown on 6th, or a landmark that is rumored to be haunted, you can find all that at the Driscoll Hotel. I gotta say, it smells nice. phenomenal. I wish you guys could have 4D to smell how wonderful it smells in here. Damn! We get some drinks, and I decide it's a good time for each of the boys to say something nice about The Bachelor. One thing I'd like to say I love about Danny is his sense of humor. Beautiful personality, pure heart. Adventurous and very handsome. He's always down for a good production, no matter how stupid of an idea it is. He's always in a good mood. Makes everybody happy. One more thing that I do like about Dan is he's so dumb, he makes me feel smart. Damn, brother, that was beautiful. All right, so we're going up to the two alleged haunted rooms right now, which is... 329 525 525 and they're both kind of the same legend so we're gonna hit that we're gonna hit him with the talk box the spirit box four by eight sheets right. drill three 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 three, 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 three first it was, it was all plastic all right we're going what? five we're going 525 there's no three that's how haunted it is that the floor has been sealed off damn you scared yeah yeah <laughs> you scared yeah you scared Toma, Toma's here. What's up? 525. 525. This is my hotel now. What are you gonna do about it? We walk around and continue the conversation. What consequences? What consequences? Ain't no consequences because you ain't gonna do anything to me. Is this painting haunted? You hear yes? Yes, I heard yes. I heard yes too. Okay. I know I've tried this multiple times, but now I'm here by myself at the Driscoll Hotel, which is supposed to be haunted, to finally tell you what the three B's are. I've said barbecue, I've said booze, and the third one is boo. <sighs> If horror is not your thing, you can walk down 6th to the Vulcan Gas Company for comedy. Check their website, linked in the description, for a schedule of events. If you've done Austin correctly, this is what you should look like at the end of the night. Let's switch gears from activities and places to go to the food and drinks that Austin has to offer. If you like tacos, Torchy's Tacos is a must try whether it's their breakfast tacos or their traditional signature ones. Be sure to check out their taco of the month. You're doing a great job cleaning, Dan. Well done. Are you kidding? What? You lazy slob. Take it off. I want to see that. We're going to Granny's Tacos of Austin. It's supposed to be one of the best places for breakfast tacos in the area even though it's 1.15 uh, p.m. But we're gonna ask for breakfast tacos. So stay tuned. Wait, this it? This is it. Board up, body. This is it, boys. Right, right next to the top. Yep. I'm excited to do it. In case you haven't noticed by now, Costa is allergic to wearing any type of shirt. What do you guys think? It's pretty decent, actually. Robert, grab more yeah, it's not bad. Put on a shirt, you douchebag. <laughs> this is a great spot for breakfast tacos. That bacon, that's crisp. Oh, I forgot, I guess. But for any non-breakfast tacos, I recommend someplace else. You're still filming? You may have noticed that food trucks are a big part of the Austin experience. In addition to great nightlife, the Rainy Street Historic District has an amazing food truck lot where you can try many different types of foods. Keep in mind that the food trucks here are open later in the day, particularly on weekdays, so I recommend heading here for dinner and combining it with nightlife activities in the area. 
If you are craving juices, smoothies, or grab-and-go snacks, Juiceland is a refreshing stop. The peanut butter protein sundae catches my eye, although I find that the texture is more watery than I would like. You've known Dan a lot longer than I have. What are your thoughts on him getting married? Over 10 years, believe it or not. But um, my thoughts on him getting married are, are amazing that he's found the right one and about to start a new chapter of his life, and I'm super hyped for him. So, yeah, what about yourself? Well, it's kind of bittersweet because you know, you look for something, and then once you find it, it's an amazing thing to have. And you just gotta value it as long as you've had it, you know? Yeah, Dan's a great guy. Oh, no, I was talking about my peanut butter sundae. If you want an even colder refreshment, there is a gelato place just down the street from Juice Land, and it is amazing. You must make a stop here. I highly recommend getting either the mascarpone or the grapefruit sorbet, or both as I did. Let's start getting into the heavier meals. If you like fried chicken, stop by Bird Bird Biscuit, but get there earlier in the day as some items do sell out. We are going to get some dinner, get some barbecue at Cooper's, because barbecue is one of the three B's. It's barbecue, Booze Yo, and on, time, baby. let's go. I gotta go. Well, they're waiting. How those two looking? Love it. Sauce that up too. Yes, sir. I think the brisket was pretty amazing. The meat was tender, well well cooked. The issue was the sauces. There's only one sauce, and it's a little bit vinegary. Usually, you have about six sauces uh, at a barbecue place, so I think that was lacking a little bit. But apart from that, the mac and cheese with bacon and uh, jalapeno was spot on, and uh, the corn with some seasoning was perfect. And there's jalapenos on the table that you can just pick out out of the jar as many as you want. There are pickles and, and baked beans on the side. You can help yourself as many times as you want. So all in all, it was great. Sauces get the the negative uh, review there, but uh, definitely recommend coming here. I prefer the better seasoned brisket from Terry Black's Barbecue with cream corn, but be prepared to wait in line and pay a steeper price. I would recommend skipping Hop Daddy for burgers, which is a shame because their menu looks amazing. They may have had an off day, but we are about to have a terrible experience. I would never come back to this place. I'd give it probably like a 2.5 out of 10. It took us a while to get our food. Look at this. It's raw. He ordered yeah. that. Well done. I give it a 1.5 out of 10. Same. My one. food literally just came. Everybody else has been done because their food came out long time out of 10. ago. They forgot my bold. fries. Well, my ad is that my fries were very salty and they actually uh, brought my order out twice for some reason. So they mixed up the order. So the service is a little bit questionable. Not highly recommended. Edge Rooftop is great day or night and has amazing views of Austin, great vibes, and a pool. After a long day of activities, this is the perfect place to relax with a beverage. <laughs> I am the captain now. <laughs> I got Joe's camera. <laughs> you are the captain now. Yeah. This is a hitchhike with Joe Mike. Production. Cheers, right. gentlemen. After some bar hopping, you get the sweet tooth. Stop by Buda Donuts. They have amazing donuts. Definitely worth a stop. Highly recommend it. I've come here multiple times. Inside, there is a donut tree. Old Glory. Possibly some live music. And then, of course, the donuts. Lots and lots of donuts. So here's a summary of all the tips so far. Travel is not only enjoyable, it's an amazing opportunity to learn about the world around you through food, architecture, history, culture, and the relationships that you develop. If you take one thing away from this video, it's to book that trip that you have been delaying today. Well, we made it. The Bachelor is in one piece, unlike last time. Oh my god, I don't believe it. It's the end of your bachelor party weekend. How do you feel? I'm not very hungry at all. 
but we're gonna eat because Joe wants to eat. Can I tell him the story that what just happened? What story? Give me the phone. So we were we were in the Houston Terminal C, and I wanted to go eat at our gate, Terminal B. And Joe's like, we gotta go all the way to Terminal E because that's where the good food is. And I was yeah. like, you're a psychopath. We're not gonna go all the way just to eat. And then like, in five minutes later, we got a notification that our gate switched to E. So I don't know what Joe did, but he might be a sorcerer. I pull some strings. You can pull your strings to drop that thumb onto the subscribe button and then immediately unsubscribe to Hitchhike with Joe Mike. Here you go. Here's your phone back, bud. And then just subscribe again and keep it that way. Don't do it. Thank you for your support. I bet you're wondering why I'm dressed up in a tux. Well, I'm getting ready for Dan's wedding. The bachelor party was a few weeks ago. Since my buddy is getting married to the woman of his dreams, I would like to gift him the answer to a question that men have been asking since the dawn of time. What do women really want? To do that, you are about to experience the most comprehensive and scientific study in the history of humanity. I want to give my buddy some advice. So I found some experts on what women want. So McKinsey, can you please uh, tell my friend Dan here, what do women really want? You're always wrong. Okay. We're always right. Okay. And if you drive in the left lane, you better go to know where the speed, speed limit. Just communicate. Be honest. Don't ever lie. Don't ever hide anything. But we're always right and you're always wrong. <laughs> Thank you. Time. Awesome. Thank Good you. To be honest and communicate. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Here, you see the five items that these two experts mentioned. Each time anyone mentions any of these existing items, you will see the bar incremented accordingly. Any new items mentioned will be added to the bottom of this list. All right, we are getting more advice from a man, Dan. I need more um, advice. What women want? What was your name? Kayla. Kayla? All right, so Kayla, can you give us some advice on what women want? We're gonna get everybody in. So we gotta listen. That's all listen, man. This bitch is married. This bitch is married. So what do you recommend? Communication. Communication. No yelling. No yelling. No fussing. All right, let's make those updates. Okay, so we heard listen twice from two different individuals. We heard communication again, and I added a few new items at the bottom. Since communicates well and listens have been mentioned twice and are in the lead, I have moved them to the top. If you recall from earlier in this vlog, we were at the Driscoll, a luxurious yet haunted hotel. Dan taunted the ghost, or ghosts, through the spirit box. What consequences? What consequences? I later find out what those consequences were. My GoPro was switched mysteriously from video to time-lapse mode. Therefore, I did not capture any audio when engaging the following two experts in this most comprehensive study. While I do not have the audio, I did write down what this panel of experts mentioned. Give her flowers, share your feelings, and communicate. Updating now, okay. A new item is mentioned and added to the bottom of the graph. We also heard mentioned communication and sharing your feelings. The latter, which to me is a type of communication. So I have added two mentions to communicate well. I know what you're thinking. Someone will comment that asking a bunch of women what women want is a good start, but not comprehensive enough. There needs to be the perspective of a professional athlete one who possibly plays in the NFL for, let's say, Indianapolis. My number one advice to you, my man. Yeah. If you overly communicate, you will never be wrong. Okay. If you, if you overly communicate, they will appreciate the hell out of it. You will get bonus points. I promise you. I promise you. Okay. There you go. More advice? Yeah. More advice for my man here, Dan. I, I can't fail it. now. <laughs> that's, hey, that's... Pro athlete advice right there. Hell yeah. Hey, hey, do you want to get your credentials? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I'll remain anonymous. All right, all right. <laughs>
Adding that perspective in and we see that communicates well is in the lead. We've gotten quite a bit of domestic responses from Americans. To solidify this study as the best one in the history of humanity and the fact that the audience for this channel is international, there needs to be an international perspective. I have that covered. What do women want? What is some advice we can give to Dan here so he can have a successful marriage? Okay. Hello everyone at this random wedding that I don't know anyone. Uh, <laughs> I'm Norwegian, so sorry if this is way off. No, no problem. Whenever you ask her like what's wrong and you're like and she's like, I'm fine, she's not fine. You have to ask you have to ask more questions. Then you have to find out what's really wrong. Because I'm fine is not an answer. Also, Okay, I'm not gonna say the other part. That's Why not? All. You can do <laughs> say it, say it. I wish you all the best. Namaste. Adding the new item to the bottom of the list, and we have a clear front runner. Communication. The second item, listening, is key to effective communication, so I am of the mindset that the top two traits here are really one. So it is uncontested. What do women really want? Someone who communicates well. If you have anything that you'd like to contribute, post-mortem to this most comprehensive and scientific study in the history of humanity, please comment below. There you have it. What women want, solved. To wrap things up, I am going to reveal the last and most elusive of the three B's. It's... What's up, Dan? Yeah, that's in an hour, right? Oh, right now? Yeah, sure, that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, I'm, I'm five minutes away. Alright, man, I'll see you later. Gotta go.